Okay, welcome to the Crow Show. We got some cool Venus transiting the sun footage here, so here we go. Okay, so I have Stellarium set up for June the 5th, 2012, um, which was about six months before the apparent age change on the uh, December solstice of 2012. So I wanted to show you what we're about to see um, that I filmed that day. Anyhow, you can see that I have the clock set up for June the 5th, 2012, and I'm going to show you. Here's the sun. I've got it selected. Now what's cool about this is right now we're looking at the Arabic signs, and you can see that the bull, um, this is occurring between the horns of the bull, but I'll set it to our western ways just to show you that things are pretty universal in the sky, um, although we do inherit an awful lot of star names and uh, constellations and such from uh, Arabic history. Um, so here we go. So there's the constellation of Taurus. And let me get rid of this and we'll zoom in on this event and get a little better view of the sun and I'll show you. So you can see Venus is right here and we'll just roll through the minutes and I'll show you um, what it looked like. That Whoops, let me center out here. There we go. Okay, we're going to just roll through minutes here and you can see now as it goes into the disk, this is a huge part of the viewing um, for scientists. They always want to time that little entrance into the disk and you can tell by the line that's drawn there um, what the transit's going to look like. So I just wanted to give you a quick view so you know what you're looking at as we go over to my film because um, I was actually on the side of a mountain with my telescope. I had no power, no tracking ability. So there. Okay, so I wanted to point out as well, knowing that on this day the sun was between Taurus's horns, if you look at a lot of Egyptian art and statuary, um, you'll always notice the sun disk placed between the bull's horns. Um, their image of the horizon looks a little bit like this, just a standard you know, depiction of the sun on the horizon. Um, my guess is, is that it was very important and would have been to ancient cultures that when this transit occurred, the sun was between uh, the horns of the bull. Um, to put this in perspective, um, when they were killing the Apis bulls off, I think they were sacrificing it because the end of the age of Taurus, which would have led into the age of Ramses, or uh, Aries, and even today the Jewish religion uses a ram's horn from that age. And then when we move up to the birth of Jesus, the fish sign, which brings us into the age of Pisces. Um, anyhow, moving on. So what I have here in the background is a still um, from the footage I'm going to show you. And in the upper right of the solar disk there, you see Venus coming into uh, frame or transiting the sun. Now below, I've scaled two representations of Earth and Venus. Uh, Venus matches what you're looking at here from the real still, just to show you the difference in size. Um, and you should bear in mind that um, the distance, well, I'll just go through it. Earth is roughly 92 million miles from the Sun, where Venus is uh, 67 million miles. Um, the orbital period of that planet, a year in other words, is 225 days. It rotates backwards, but the length of a day is 243 Earth days. So um, that just puts things into perspective for you. So here we come into the actual footage, and again, there's no tracking here because I was up on the side of a mountain with my scope with no power. In the upper right of the solar disk there, uh, you'll see Venus come creeping in. Um, very cool to see live. Now I'm running this footage at 1300% speed so that we can see it. I know it's a little annoying that I didn't have tracking that day, but you can still see what's going on. Um, it's actually quite a cool thing to see through an eyepiece. We switched back and forth between filming and uh, putting an eyepiece in to look at this and it's just it's pretty you know it's a spectacular thing to, to see a planet go in between you and the Sun and I started thinking you know the Mayans had at least one observatory that was custom built just to track Venus um, and I was thinking how would they be looking at this you know what I'm looking through a solar filter here and I had special glasses to view it with just my eyes um, and then it dawned on me that they were almost certainly sun gazing and that they had done this all their lives and that they were probably with their naked eyes looking straight at the solar disk and uh, watching this happen um, there's a lot of cultures that did practice sun gazing and uh, believe me as a western raised person don't go out and stare at the sun um, there are 
ways you can do this, but you need to know what you're doing, and it's only safe for us for the first 45 minutes and the last 45 minutes of a day. But back in these ancient times, I'm certain that these guys who had trained all their lives could have stared directly at the sun and watched this occur. Um, it's a cool thing, you know. Um, it happens every, it's over a century that it happens. It's actually, um, it occurs, let's see, I've got it written here. Um, they happen in pairs. The transit happens in pairs, and they're eight years apart. So this happened in 04 prior to this 2012 filming. Before that, the pairs occurred on the 9th of December in 1874 and the 6th of December in 1882. So the next transits will occur on the 10th and 11th. It goes from the 10th into the 11th on December 21, 17, and then again in December of 21, 25. So there are actually generations who never get an opportunity to see this, and we were lucky that we did. So anyhow, there it is. Cheers.